Hey everybody, welcome back to Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. It is such a beautiful day. But I say that all the time because life is wonderful. As my man, uh, my buddy Mad Max said, he woke me up this morning and I'm here. And I don't mean Mad Max woke me up this morning. I mean, he woke me up this morning. It is Spanish Heritage Month. There goes that Corona. So today, for Spanish Heritage Month, I am going to make burrito bombs. It's, it's burritos because I got the um, refried rings. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the ingredients. Let me not piece it like that. I'm going to have um, butter, olive oil, uh, a white onion, finely diced, diced. But I'm going to use this one with some um, onions and green peppers and red peppers and yellow peppers all diced together. That's what I'm going to use. Some uh, cup of uh, abrero rice. I, I, it's just rice to me, just rice. Uh, some chicken broth. Um, of course, more salt for taste. Lime zest, lime zest, and lime juice. It's up here somewhere. But and I could also just squeeze squeeze the juice out of the lime. But I know I got the lime juice up here because I put it up here. Okay, lime juice, um, cilantro, fresh cilantro, um, ground beef. I'm getting ready to throw this on right now. I'm gonna throw this on, and while we're talking, I'm gonna let this do its thing. I'm gonna put this on here. Whoops, there you go. I'm gonna throw that in the pan and let this cook up because this is just going to be, it's going to be a very tasty dish. It's, it's going to be, of course, uh, yes, I'm, I'm cooking more ground beef than, it calls, than, than the recipe calls for because the recipe only says a pound. I think I just threw two pounds in there. But, um, and we're going to have some um, taco seasoning, some shredded Mex uh, Mexican, blend Mexican blend cheese, um, hot sauce. I'm not going to put hot sauce in it. L um, last week I made the um, chicken poppers and they was all hot, you know, everything was hot. I had uh, um, buffalo wing sauce and all the different hot ones. So I'm not going to make this hot, this, this dish hot. Uh, refried beans, flour, um, eggs, you know, cause I'm going to, what's gonna happen, what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna have the ground beef. I'm going to, um, have rice, the rice with the cilantro in it and the lime, lime and the zest in it. I'm gonna and make that into a ball. Then the, the ground beef is gonna be made into a ball. Then I'm going to take the refried beans and put it around the ground, the ground beef. Then around the ground, I mean refried beans and the ground beef goes the rice and cilantro. cilantro. Then that goes into um, the egg wash the flour, the egg wash, and I'm going to crush up these tortillas and because these tortillas, because that's going to be the crust. That's going to be the crust of this. We need a crust of this. Yes, yes. Tortillas. Yes, 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 yes. And bam, we're going to have some burrito balls. So, I'm going to throw some seasoning on my meats. I want to throw a little bit. It does, it, 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 I'm going to throw some seasoned salt. Just, just, I'm sprinkling just a little bit just to get the essence of, 
in, in, in the house some oregano. Oh, yes. Black pepper. And some obey. Oh, I don't know if this one is open. That's not open. I'm not going to worry about the obey. Or I'm going to open it up and then um, sprinkle some obey on there. Because again, you know how we cook for flavor. This is just that um, garlic, pepper, Himalayan salt that I like to use too. Okay, so what I'm going to do, oh yes, the rice, it, 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 the rice, I cook the rice differently than I've ever cooked it before. So to me, that is the, the big deal. Not the, the cooking of the ground beef, because but I'm I'm only showing that I'm you know I got to show you that I'm that I'm doing everything, so that's why I have the ground beef. I got to crush up these tortillas. I'm gonna put them in a bowl. I'm gonna crush this all up. I'm going to enjoy my beer. Mmm. We gonna celebrate. Spanish Heritage Month on Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. Let me get this done, the ground beef done, so then we can go into the rice and we'll move on to the next step. Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. Subscribe, guys. Okay, folks, I'm back and um, a little more set up. Of course, that's what, I, that's what I'm going to be doing um, when I cut out, but butter. Butter. Oh man, I let that pan get hot. But butter. Oops. I better go find my smoke detector. Let me turn the vent on. Butter. Olive oil. Butter. Olive oil. Now this is something that I, the way of cooking the rice, but I've never cooked it before. Because now I'm going to throw in some, have the onions, I threw the, uh, the onions and the green peppers, I threw in the pot. And, and I'm going to throw a little more of these onions in, just the white onions, throw a little more of these in. Now I'm going to cook these until they're a, a little fried up then the onions are, you know, kind of caramelized. So that's one, oh my goodness. As soon as I go there, the smell gets wonderful. Oh, oh, another thing too, folks. I um, put the ground beef in the strainer so that I, I, so now we know that the ground beef is cooked and, and strained and drained. The ground beef cooked and drink. So that goes to the side. That goes to the side. Yeah, put that right here. And I'm watching this. I turned, I, I, I put this on high. I don't know why I put it on high because usually when you're cooking rice, you start off with it high. So that's what I did. That's why the pot is smoking. So I got that going on. Uh, let me stir this some more. I want this to cook a little bit, cook, cook down a little bit, cook down a little bit further than this. I, I mean, this is this is this is doing great, but I want it to brown up a little more. I want it to soften up a little more. So I got that going in. Got my ground beef because the rice is going to go in that pot. I think that I could have cooked a pot of rice with some onions in it and all that, just, you know, with the boiling water and stuff like that. Oh, because this, that's what I said, this is a different way that I'm cooking this rice. But this doesn't go in yet. This is the um, chicken stock. The chicken stock is going to go in there. And it's like, and because I'm, I'm almost frying the rice. 
frying the rice, but I'm not, I don't, it, it, it just gets cooked in there in the frying pan rather than a pot. So while that's doing that, I'm going to put some zest. I, I found my lime. It was behind me, in my lime juice. It was behind me in my cup. But I'm going to put some lime zest on the plate because the lime zest is going to go into the rice on the, on the stove there. So I'm going to get this lime zest together. It's, 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 it's getting there. Little shavings, zest, lime zest. The zest of the lime, lime, the lime skin. But, yeah, I just got to do it a little harder so it can, can flake down on there. But like I said, I want that to cook down a little bit more. And I told you that I'm, I'm cooking, well, first of all, I'm always cooking something that I've never cooked before. I've never made these before. This is the first time that I'm doing these burrito balls. Reggie's cook into life lessons. Don't be afraid of the kitchen. And now I'm supposed to use like a cup of rice. I got like two cups in here. I, I'm not going to use all the rice in here because I now now that I have this to this point where it's 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 it's, it's translucent. The onions are translucent. That's where they are. The onions are translucent. I'm going to put the rice in here. There you go. And I didn't use it all. I said I wasn't going to use it all. But there we go. Now we are talking. Now, and then I'm going, I'm supposed to let this cook into this. I swear I, it, it looks like, because remember, I'm, I'm using a little more ingredients um, and I have to go with, I'm going with the two cups of rice because I want to make sure that I have enough of the, 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 the mixture to go around the um, burrito balls. But this is the way that I'm supposed to do it. This is looking, it's looking like it's supposed to look because that is cooking well. This is cooking well, and I got, I'm going to leave it on the stove. I'm not going to keep taking it off the stove because I want the heat to stay on it like that. Now, now I'm to take. I'm supposed to use four cups of of, of, of the chicken stock. Okay, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour two cups in here. I'm going to pour two cups in here. I'm going to pour up to two cups. And then as it, you know how the um, water boils out of the rice? So this is going to cook out of this. This chicken stock is going to cook out of this rice. So that, I believe, is why I use four cups. So. There you go. This looks wonderful. So I'm gonna pour that in. I only pour it like a cup in. I pour the cup in, and I'm supposed to stir it and let this boil. It's going to boil because this is going to turn into the 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 paste. The paste. It's cooked rice, but it's going to, it, 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 it's going to be. A face. It is. It's, I'm doing it right. Got to be doing it right because it's looking right. All right. Now, since I have that here, I'm gonna sit this this here because I'm gonna pour that. I'm gonna continue to pour this into into the pot on the rice as the rice boils. I'm gonna pour this in here. And because it's telling me to use four cups, um, I poured two cups in already. So 
I'm gonna let that cook. That's cooking, and I'm going to pour two more cups into this, into the measuring cup, so that I will. And I probably could get away with pouring two and a half cups, because remember, I used two cups of rice, and I was supposed to use one cup. We'll see whether I need another cup, at least another cup of the, of the broth. Because you know I got plenty of ingredients. None of this goes to waste, because we eat. But anyway, it's Spanish Heritage Month, um, and it's October. So um, uh, last year we talked about the importance of voting, so I'm going to talk about that still be an important factor because we have the 2022 elections coming up and the 2024 elections coming up. I'm, I'm just talking about the importance of voting. Who you vote for is your business. Who you vote for is your business. And my, who I vote for is my business, unless you ask. But anyway. Things are wonderful. It's a beautiful day. Yesterday I was all out all day riding my motorcycle. Um, I guess we should talk about, um, well, I guess we are talking about feeling wonderful. Feeling wonderful. It, I mean, and the fact that we, I mentioned it, that the fact that we, we are woke up this morning. That, that's the, that's the key. That's the key. And um, working on being the best that we can be, that is essential. And not crying about something, you know, being able, not being able to change something. Because it's not, it's not the something that you change, it's you that you change. You change to how you deal with a situation. You change, that's what you change. You don't change, you can't, you can't change, you can't change the way the, uh, I'm going to say your boss acts at, at, at the job. Because that is that individual person. You either change yourself, how you deal, you change how you're going to deal with them. You, shit, you can say something, shoot, you can say something to the person. Or you just be prepared to move on to another, another job. Big L used to say, used to say, I came here looking and I'm going to leave looking. Now, as I was saying that um, I use, when I cook rice, I cook rice, um, um, two cups of rice and four cups of water. This recipe had asked that I do, said that I do one cup of um rice and four cups of the chicken broth but that's not how i cook rice so i'm doing it like i said i plus i put remember i put two cups of the rice in so now the rice is, is doing the way i'm used to seeing rice do now i'm going to put in pour in the other two cups of chicken broth Now, and because I got to cook this, I'm, it, it, it's, it's going to cook down till it's dry. It's going, this is supposed to cook down till it's dry. Not, not bone dry, no. It's, I, it's, it's, it still has a little, it's going to have just a touch of moisture to it, but it, it's not going to be juicy because that's the paste that's going to go on. Oh, on the um, burrito bombs. And, and, and last week when I did um, this, look, this is the zest. This is the zest of the line. It's um, already been chopping on my cilantro. This all, this goes into the rice too. So, this, it, uh, I got my um, tortillas chopped up um, you, you'll see that you'll see where I took because I, I, I was filming that when um, nobody was, was watching and I was filming that 
but um, I took the roller. Oh, there it is. I took the roller and was crushed something on the bag. This is smashed up. I, I, I did what I was supposed to do with this too. Again, it's all about being prepared. I, I set it up as you always see. I, I always have my stuff set to the side here. I go to the store. I shop for the ingredients so that I'm, you know, I, I take the menu with me, the recipe with me, and I, I, to make sure that I get everything that I need. And, um, and, and, and that's how I prepare myself for this. So, it's, so that as I'm doing it for the first time, and it's say cilantro, I don't go, where's cilantro? So when you're doing it, make sure you get all the things you need. Unless you're going to, you know what you're going to substitute. Say you have an allergy to cilantro, and you don't use cilantro. Don't use it. Don't use it. You know, use some um, seasoning. Use some seasoning and, and not the cilantro. But that is not an issue that I have to worry about because I'm always cooking with cilantro. And I don't have any problems with it. So, um, we got this rice over here boiling. It looks fabulous. It has the um, green peppers. This, the recipe didn't call for this. This is, this is where we come in where I talk about where you add something for flavor. Because the recipe didn't call for green peppers or bell peppers or nothing like that. But uh, it called for um, minced stuff or diced stuff, onions, white onions. And so what I did, I took and got the, um, the diced up onions that had the green peppers and the yellow bell peppers and stuff like that. Because again, um, we cook. We cooking for food. It smells fantastic in here. It smells fantastic, and things are going well so far. So, I'm what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on this rice until I get it down, because uh, all this stuff has to. When when I finish cooking, it has to sit to the side. It has to cool down. So I'm doing that. I'm going to um, let it cook. Um, then set it to the side and, and show you how it wants me to because I have the cookie sheet with the parchment paper on it because I, even though it's going to wind up in a bowl I still have to spread it on here for it to cool down. Boom. Reggie's cook into life lessons. Be right back. So now when I pull the rice off the stove now look at that, that looks fantastic. That looks fantastic. So, oh my God, it smells delicious. Now, I have to put, now in good, well, I, I put some, it's, it called for salt, just before it was wrapping up the, the cooking um, part of it. But I didn't put regular salt in there. I put some Lowry's seasoned salt. I sprinkled some seasoned salt in there. Just a little bit. In fact, just enough to show that I did so that when I come back here, I can sprinkle a little bit and you can see me do it. Okay, so now I got the, I'm stirring the, now I put the lime zest. The lime zest goes into the rice. Look at there. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so pretty. That looks so pretty. Spanish Heritage Month. I'm making burrito bombs. Look at that. Look at the color on that. Look at the color. Look at the color. That looks wonderful. Now, I pour in the lime juice. Now, I'm going to mix this. Now, the cilantro goes in here next, but this, it says that to let this cool. So, I'm going to let this cool. I'm going to let this cool. Just like I'm letting the ground beef cool. So, I'm going to put this to the side so it can cool. That's, that's cool. Now, Actually, this is cooled down, but what goes in here 
Now, just the um, Mexican blend, the Mexican blend cheese goes in here. And of course, I, I, I'm, I'm going to measure it. I'm going to measure it. It says, it says a cup. It says a cup. So, there's a cup. There's a cup of the cheese. Oh, but you know what? Remember, um, but a cup was for a pound of ground beef. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put the two cups of cheese in here because I put two pounds of ground beef into this ingredients. And now I'm going to get. Get my latex gloves. Now I, 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 I'm only mix. I'm mixing this up now, but this um, you can you can you can let it sit for a minute. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it sit for a minute because it's going to coordinate with um, the, the, the cooled off rice because I'm going to make the balls here when I make the balls here then I'm going to because I open up the I'm going to open up the refried um, refried beans refried beans I'm going to open up the refried bring, beans put that in a bowl so that I can have the ground beef mixed in with the with the um, cheddar mixed with the Mexican blend cheddar cheese. Then I'll have the refried beans and I'll have the rice, which I'll then mix into a ball that will go into the flour, the egg wash, the flour, egg wash, and I'll have all this stuff in a bowl. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now I just lifted up this and because I got to put a, a teaspoon of Two, tea, two teaspoons of the taco mix in here too, which I can do that now because, again, I don't want to skip any steps. Being in, I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. Oh, I'll, do, I'll use this. I'll use this. I could have used the measuring spoon, but I'm going to, I'm just going to throw this in here like this. I'll throw that on here like this. Because that's going to be mixed into there. There you go. All that is going to be mixed together. And we'll get this stuff on the Road celebrating Spanish Heritage Month in Reggie's Cooked into Life's Kitchen. This is my first time, too. And again, I never prepare a meal just to see so so that which call. Hey, that way, if we if I make a boo-boo and you and you make a boo-boo, we'll say, we's a human. And we's human. We're learning how to cook. We're learning how to make these wonderful dishes. And we're doing it together. Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. Subscribe. Okay, now I spread, I spread, I, I spread this out on the um, parchment paper. And this, with the cilantro, I put the cilantro in the rice. Beautiful looking. Looks, looks, trust me, that looks, that's, that's, that looks, I could eat that like that. And, now I'm going to take, I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to mix this cheese and ground beef together now. Now remember I put, um, because I have two pounds of the ground beef, I mixed. Mm, 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 mm. And because we're, we're going to wind up 
making bowls out of these, yes. I'm just squeezing to see, yes, how we're going to do this. Guys, I'm back. I am doing this one step at a time because I, I, it, it making me nervous. So, but this is, what I did was because I was, it was sitting so long because I was doing something. But anyway, I, these, I made two, I made three of them, right? Now, this, these two were made with uh, uh, ground beef and um, cheese at the temperature that it is. So th then I was nervous because I'm thinking that maybe it cooled down too much. So then I put this in the, the, uh, a piece of ground beef, just a piece, a little bit, into the microwave for 30 seconds to um, warm it up to see if the cheese, you know, um, you know, melting in through the microwave would make the, this stick a little bit of get a little stick together a little bit. I decided I'm not going to go that way. I did not microwave this, but because what it would what, what dawn to me if if I do this with my hands, like I'm in school with the kids with the Play-Doh, the t body temperature makes it warm up. So that's how I'm going to do this. So then, so now I'm gonna go like this, and because I'm trying not to make these as big as I did those chicken poppers, I, 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 there it is. I'm squeezing it in my hand. I'm squeezing it, and it's turned it into the ball that I want so um, okay that's fine then I took and went here these this the refried beans I just sit it in there and that is that does this is doing its thing around the refried beans oh let me come over here a little bit let me slide over a little bit so that you can see in this camera so I went into the now I'm into the re refried beans I'm just spreading it around Then I put a little patch of, and then I still just, still just doing it like that. Then, then I go into the rice and, and, the, and, and, and all this, because at first I didn't know, because I thought the refried beans were going to be a little harder, but they're not. It's really, really soft. And so the rice is really sticking into the refried beans. So... I'm, I'm, I'm more comfortable with, with what's going on there. Okay. See? See, 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 see. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. You see that? See that, guys? See that? I'm comfortable. I'm a little more comfortable. And I've, I've still got to do it um, one step at a time. Um, so I already have my other stuff set up. I have my other stuff set up, my um, tortillas, crushed tortillas, tortillas, tortillas. Yes, I got them all crushed up, which you already saw. And I see that this is working out better with me really squeezing it, squeezing it. Then it's, it's, it's really coming together. Then I'm taking the refried beans in. Again, this is, the refried beans is really soft. So, they're, 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 it's like a, a, a paste, but real light paste. It's, it's not heavy, which I thought it was going to be heavy, but heavier, but it's not. Then, again, I'm still, you know, working it in my hands so it turns into a ball. It's easy to um, put the rice in. Once I put the rice on that one side, then I um, put the rice on the other side and... And you know the excess can fall off, so that's not a problem either. That's not a problem doing that over this bowl. There it is. It's 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 coming together. It's coming together. Cause a burrito, what's a burrito without rice? Cause I was like, what is a burrito? A burrito rice. Yeah, I guess that's just maybe a Mexican name, a Spanish name, or whatever. Brown rice. I didn't know what it meant. What it meant. There you go. There you go. There you go. Damn. 
So now, so I'm just setting these up like this. And again, squeezing this. I ain't breaking my fingers or nothing like that. But I'm making sure that it comes together and that the ground beef is not falling apart. And again, and it's, trust me, it works out with the, um, the gloves on because if I didn't have these gloves on, my hands would be a mess. Oh, but I, I, can, I, I, can, I can sense how this is going to work out with the ground beef fender. A burrito, it's a burrito bomb. Burrito bomb made up in Reggie's kitchen. Reggie's cooked into life's lessons. Burrito bombs, that's what we're making for Spanish Heritage Month. Look at this, guys. This is fabulous. Then it still has to go into, into the flour and then into the egg wash and into the crushed up tatillos tortilla chips so then that makes it that really makes it burrito style oh my goodness I got my fair share here so I'm going to do I'm gonna do a couple more so again so oh, look I'm trying to have it so I gotta have it so that you guys can see actually see how I'm doing it uh, you know what I'm going to back that lens up so you can see across the whole Okay. Yeah, that's, I, I got to, that's what I got to do. That's what I'm going to do. Well, shoot, I guess you're kind of seeing it because you, I got the front angle. So, okay, I got the ball, the ground beef ball, and I got the ground beef, um, the refried beans that are, that I'm mashing around the ground beef ball. I'm spreading. I, I, I don't even have to keep dish, dipping down in there. Because I'm spreading it around and I, or I get like one side then I put a little piece on there yeah because this is this is this is working out this is working out now I got that round one now I throw the rice on top of there a little rice on there pieces of the rice I know they're going into the bean the um, refried beans I'm trying I'm trying guys I'm trying to keep it on and that means too okay mm, yeah burrito bombs some I ain't gonna like it I know I'm gonna like it because first of all I love burritos I love burritos. I'm back and I believe I'm ready. I backed that camera up a little bit so we can see. I got these um, burrito balls all set. They're set to go, they're sitting here. So I got my flour, I got my egg wash and I got my crushed up tortillo chips, tortillo chips. Um, so maybe I'll fix, oh, okay. I'll sit this plate here and sit um, a couple of these things on. So here we go. We, we get ready. I believe my temp, my grease is up to temperature. So now I'm going into the flour. I'm going to do this like this. Oh, and I put on another pair of gloves. I put on another pair of gloves. Ooh. That's because I hit that kind of hard. Okay, so I got that. Now I go into my egg wash. And I'm going into I ain't even gonna let these sit around. I'm just going to let me see if I can just drop them into the which I'm going to I'm not going to drop them from the sky. I'm going to lower I'm going to lower them in two degrees. Oh yeah. Warming up. This is it's hot enough because I see it sizzling into the egg wash. 
flour, egg wash, and into the tortilla chips. The tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. Then I'm grabbing this to drop this into. That oof, oof. got me a little mess here, but everything seems to be going fine. Oof. Okay, seems to be going fine. I, as I, I'm, I'm trying to be careful touching this because my hands is pulling this stuff off. get them into the grease because I want to make sure it gets that crust. I want to make sure it gets the crust on them. Flour. The smaller one seems, see, it's only the third one, but it seems like it's easier to handle. But once it starts to get the sticky, icky egg all over it, man. Burrito Bombs, Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons, Spanish Heritage Month, and I'm making Burrito Bombs. Now, I'm going to hold up just a second, since I have them. I'm holding up just a second since I have them in the grease. Um, I want to see how they, the consistency, how they're going to hold. So we're just waiting a second. Um, I, I, I definitely have the box right here of them frying because they doing their thing. I just want them to do that. Do that. Come on, do right, do right, Reggie's, um, it's, it's a beautiful day, nice fall weather, look, don't let me look, I got the TV on, some footballs, football, well, they're, they're, the games hasn't started yet, but, beautiful day, I'm enjoying this, uh, I'm enjoying introducing different um, plates to you guys, of course, I've never cooked, a, I haven't cooked the same meal as a show yet so as nothing so it's not repetitious so anything you see you are seeing it for the first time from me you know, um, I don't create my recipes I, I they, they come to me through my apps and stuff like that and then um, something catches my eye and it says do me Reggie do me Reggie so and school, like I said, school has started, so I've been kind of busy as far as being able to come at you with um, uh, some type, type of philosophy, something that I read up on, because I haven't. So, um, I'm, I'm just saying that everything is fine and, and, and giving you the cooking lessons and things like that. So, um, I'm, we're watching this. The rice is done. The ground beef is done. The the the, which, the um, refried beans they're cooked, so it's not going to take long for this to to do its thing. It's just supposed to brown up and turn into a nice ball. So I'm, I'm gonna push it around like that. Oh yes, yes, they're nice and hard too, just like they're supposed to be. Oh. I, I, there's some relief. 
I have some relief. But that's what you do when you're putting effort. That's what you get when you're putting an effort into something. If you was doing this at home, which I want you to do, but if you were doing this for some guests, you'd be like, you'd be worried. You want it to come out right. I want this to come out right for you. For me, for me, and for you. So we be learn we're learning this together. Reggie's cook into life's blessings. Oh. Folks, I want to thank you for spending your time with me with in Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show it to you like this. This is how you 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 put it on the tray on the um, cookie sheet with the rack so that they they drain. Okay. Now I'm going to take and make my presentation. And it's all 12 of them. just going to put that's all I'm going to put on here because this I was squeezing that one that one busted but anyway here we go this is what it looks like Whoop. this is what they look like this is what they look like you see I'm smiling now um, I have guacamole I have salsa but this is the fresh salsa this is not the jar salsa where, the, where it's all in the juices and all that kind of stuff. These, this is mango salsa and I have cream cheese. Now, I'm going to do this like this. I'll put, no, I, I still want you to be able to see it. Oh, I can put it in front. I'll put it in front just like that. I believe you can see it here. Oh, now, I'm going, I'll grab a fork. I don't, I don't think you use a fork for this, but I grabbed a fork. Okay, so I have a fork. Yes, I'm making a presentation out of it because it is my drinky poo over here. Yes, yes, yes. Reggie's cook into life's lessons. Oh, oh, I know what I can do. I can do this. Oh, 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 it said to, hold on guys, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Just to sprinkle some salt on it. Yes. I'm supposed to sprinkle some salt on there. Woo! Here's the salt. And, uh, I forgot what I was going over there for. Salt, was it the salt? Okay, okay. So, here we go. Put this on here. I'm just going to break it open. I'm just going to break it open. Because it should come open like that. Wow. 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 Then I'm going to take, I want salsa on mine. I'm going to put some this mango salsa on one side and I'll take, I'll break, I'll break it, I'll break it, I'll break it, I'll break it, I'll break it and put some guacamole on the other side. There you go. Look what we got. Look what we got. This I, I, I'm anticipating. I'm into. Mm. The peppers set it off. Mm. This is a burrito. It's a burrito bomb. Thank you for watching. See you next time, folks. Love you.
Reggie's Cooked Into Life Lessons. Subscribe.